Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this reactions video, we will see that how we can use use effect hook with the props. All right. So what actually need to uh, perform these operations? So actually, we need a child component, and we have to send some props to the parent to child component on the click event. And after that, we are able to see all cases of the use effect with the props. All right. Guys, if you are not familiar with the hooks, then I am just going to recommend you that you just start the complete playlist from the very scratch. Link is given in the description box. All right. So first of all, I am just going to remove this data and just write here this component from the very scratch, like this. All right. From here, let's make one more child component so that we can just send some data from here to child component. All right. So. Now let's make a child component here with the name of let's say child.js or anything that you just want. So just use rcs and here our child component. So I am just going to take a h2 tag so that we can just write the right here child component like this. And now import this component here. Just import something from child right and here we can just simply write here child now with this child we can just simply choose it like this and now we are able to see this child component on our screen so now let's take a state so that we can just pass some data with the state to the uh, child component all right so first of all let's say um, just import the state just use the shoes state property and now just let's destruct it with the count and set count all right and destruct from from this now let's pass this count as in probes to the child like this right so now it will be just send a zero value so let's make a button here so that we can just update it on a click so count update and just use a on click event here with the help of on click let's update the state like this set count and just use the count value plus one all right so now this is passed here let's go in the child component and get this props here so let's get the props here and with the props let's print it here props dot count right so now let's check here now whenever i'm just going to click on it you can see that our state is updating and props is also updating with the same thing right so now let's just import here use effect and use it inside the component uh, I think let's just miss something from here right so use effect and basically this is a function which actually accept the callback function so just write here console dot warn or console dot log whatever you want effect in child and just print here count right so you will see the thing whenever um, okay so we have to write here props dot count whenever our props will update this use effect will come uh, called every time like this right so now you just you don't want to just call it every time you just want to click uh, call it whenever just your component is ready so you can just choose a blank array here like this so it will just call a one time when component is ready otherwise it, it will not call here all right and the same thing if you just pass this data here like this all right now it will be only work when this props will be update all right like this and if you let's say if you have some more props and they are also updating then this will be not going to be update because it will be 
just only update when the count will be updated all right so it will directly link with the count probe so this is the old case of the probes and uh, use effect if, if you still have any, any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care